I think the great aspect of where DCU is going is, is that DCU tries to do two things, probably more, but what I'm certainly seeing is, is that DCU is involved in the community. And part of, I think, this socialization that's necessary for entrepreneurial activity involves bringing, first of all, people who are not familiar with entrepreneurial aspects of the world to be with other entrepreneurs to hear how entrepreneurs experience the world and how they've gone about solving problems, failed in particular situations. So again, this issue of entrepreneurial narrative and storytelling is really key, just to have individuals say, oh my God. Um, surprisingly, I think one of the most powerful aspects that usually happens when you bring entrepreneurs into the classroom is, is that a student can identify with that person and say, wow, that person's not a superhero. They're not wearing a superman or superwoman costume underneath their suit. They're everyday normal people that have faced the same kinds of problems that I'm going to face. And I have that opportunity of solving those same kinds of problems and going through those same kinds of experiences. So the normalization of entrepreneurship I think is really, really important. And DCU does a good job of bringing people in to have that interaction happen. Um, I think the other part of this is uh, the issue of providing the kinds of tools and theories that are really valuable for entrepreneurs to move forward. Um, and also this issue of, which I think is a challenge in Ireland, is this issue of, I'll call it the normalization of failure. That part of the, uh, one of the nice things that happens in the United States is turning failure around into the nature of entrepreneurial learning. So. Mistakes happen in, as we move forward in uncertain environments. And what entrepreneurs do is, I think, re reframe that to say, the mistakes I make are, are ways that I learn about the nature of the future. So that's, I think, a major part of the educational process is to think about how we take, the, how we take learning, how do we take mistake making, and make that into something positive. And that's, I think, where the educational process is really valuable. But again, I think this is the difference too in terms of how um, knowledge, knowledge use happens in the sense that I think one of the, one of the aspects about teaching in the classroom is, is that we're not conveying a set of fixed ideas about how the world works. What we're trying to do is provide processes for how we can explore how the world will be. And so that I think is the key. It's kind of action-oriented ideas about how to learn about the nature of the future, rather than say, this is how the future is going to be.